With Director of Athletics John Wildhack now after a series of announcements, John, to indicate all the new things that are coming to the Carrier Dome experience, the game day experience this coming football season. And before we get into the nitty gritty and the bullet points of exactly what those were, what did you set out to accomplish here? Well, I think, Matt, the number one thing is, is to enhance the fan experience in every perspective. And, you know, that's what we spent the all season doing, uh, trying to do. We received a lot of research, a lot of feedback. We did surveys. We got feedback from our fans, from our student body. So we wanted to take that to heart and then come up with uh, enhancements for the 2018 season. Well, it's no secret that live events, and you're in the live event business, you're formerly in the television business, they're married in a way and they compete in a way, right? And that attendance uh, sometimes is a rival of the home experience. So it looks like you've made some attempts here to have the best of both worlds. The you can't miss it being there live, also with a, a little bit of that remote control. Exactly, and I think you know it's obviously the at-home experience has improved over the years, particularly with HD. But there's nothing that can replicate being there, right? For a big game, there's nothing that can be that replicate being there in person. But we've got to do more than just kind of all right. Here's a great game. Is we've got to we really want to create an entertainment. And we want to create experiences for our fans, and experiences they can share with their friends, with their families, with their neighbors, and, and help them create memories. Anybody who was at the Clemson game last year will tell you the distinction of, I was there, I saw it, I was part of maybe running out onto the field after the game, versus, you know, I clicked over it at halftime. Absolutely. It was probably 100,000 <laughs> people went to that game now, right, a year right. later. And, and again, you can't replicate that experience, right. and what we want to do is now we just want to enhance it. Okay, let's start with just sort of the logistics of it. Uh, number one, probably easier in and out for everybody regardless of where they park where they tailgate yeah it's one of the things that we want to do we've created a dedicated student gate which is a gate f um, we're also going to do mobile ticketing for our students as well they can download that from uh, the qs.com app so we think that'll be an enhancement um, we've got an official drop-off point for for our ride share for mm -hmm. lifting our other ride share uh, entities as well um, down by uh, down by irving and uh, in kraus so i think You'll be dropped off there pregame, and there'll be signage to direct you there postgame. So, again, I think that helps a lot. We've added shuttles, um, which, uh, which will shuttle between uh, uh, the North Campus, and you know, that'll be nonstop for three hours before games, primarily for students because we got that uh, as feedback from our students. But, again, any of our fans who have game tickets can come in, drop you right off on College Place, makes it easier to get on the quad. Love it. Find a way to, to get here earlier. And the idea is to get to the quad where people might recognize things a, a little bit different. First of all, beer on the quad, which I don't think has any precedent. And, and the idea that, talk about that living room experience, you could watch some of the other games and kind of ease into the day. It really could make the quad a tailgate. Yeah, I think Hughes, we want to make the quad a destination pregame. And, and we have people that are in satellite lots and they're tailgating, and that's, and that's great. And we, we encourage them to do that. But as we get closer to the game, we want to make the quad a destination. So we've launched a QS uh, on the quad. It'll be three hours before game time. You can get your food. You can get your beverages there. There'll be live entertainment, either live bands or a DJ. We'll have a couple screens so you can watch other games, et cetera, that type of thing. It accommodate up to about 400 to 500 people. So we think this can be a gathering place uh, for fans to really enjoy you know, great atmosphere, and you've already got the band out there. You've got other entertainment options on the quad as well. So we think we can make it a really, really vibrant place. So for so many people who are on their way into the Dome, the quad's on the way. Uh, exactly. So that may be the place where you meet people that parked in other lots or whatever. You can have a drink. You can watch a game. Still, the band will be out there. Cheerleaders, our radio pregame show, all of that good stuff as well. Now, I know there's been some initiatives to get people maybe into their seats a little earlier. How'd you go about that? Well, we're going to uh, discount our concessions. So from the time the gate's open, two hours prior to kick, if you enter between then and 30 minutes prior to kick, you'll receive a voucher. That voucher is good for a 50% discount on all concessions, food, and non-alcoholic beverages up to kickoff time. So again, we think it's a great way for fans to get in a little bit earlier. They can get their food. They can get their drink. We want the place. We want fans in the seats uh, for kickoff, and we think this is a really good way to do that. Um, in addition, for our students, in the second half, inside of 10 minutes to go in the third quarter, 
From there until the end of the game, they'll receive a 50% discount on all concessions, food and beverage, non-alcoholic beverages as well. Because one of the things we want to do is we want to get our students there, and we're trying to make it easier, sure. and then we want them to stay because they make a difference. Well, they certainly do, and it goes hand-in-hand -hand, uh, with the team's performance, and it can be uh, really an engagement e either way. Obviously, when the play on the field is better, the fans are more into it. When the fans are more into it, it helps the team. No question. It's, you know, it's all kind of one, you know, one ecosystem in a sense right so you know, we all got to help each other we got to have to support each other but you know part of our job is to really again create a great entertainment experience and supplement that with uh, with great football which we'll do all right john sounds like uh, good stuff it, uh, it's evident that you've listened to the fans here made some changes we'll see how it works out here in a three-game dome stand right off the bat well thanks matt we appreciate it we look forward to saturday well the orange are home against wagner saturday at 3 30 then florida state comes to town for the acc opener at noon the following weekend remember that clear bag policy for this uh, three-game dome stand to start kind of a soft opening now but you don't want to be sent back to your car kind of pack light and bring it in a clear acceptable bag and we hope to see you at the Carrier Dome throughout the year.